Hi children, welcome back to your science class. In the last class we discussed about stems. Uh, what are the functions of stems we discussed and which are the stems that we can eat that and all we discussed in the last class. Today we are going to discuss about roots. So we know the name of the block is stem and roots. So we studied about stems. Then today we are going to learn about roots. Okay, so first we can study what are the functions of roots. Functions of roots. Functions of roots. So see children, where can found roots? Yes, root can be found under the soil. Root we cannot see why it is under the soil. It is under the soil or under the ground. So, root can be found under the soil or under the ground. Then, what, we, what are the main functions of roots? Yes, now we are going to discuss about functions of roots. Okay, so uh, see children, yes. I have one plant with me. So you can see the roots of that plant. Yes. Yes. This is the root. This is the root of this plant. So we can find on this root. We can see soil. Right children. Why it is soil. Uh, why we can see soil on the root. Yes. It is because of. Yes. It is under the soil. Under the ground or under the soil. Roots are found under the soil. That is why we can see soil on it. So, what will be the main function of root? Yes, this root fixes the plant to the soil. Okay, so first function we can say that root fix the plant to the soil. Root fix. Root fix the plant. Root fix the plant to the soil. Okay, that is the one important function of root. So, uh, root fix the plant to the soil. That is the one function of root. Okay. Because we can find that uh, soil on the root. It is because of these roots are under the soil or under the ground. Okay. So the root fixes the plant to the soil. Okay. That is the one function. Then second function of root is this root is taking root take water and minerals from the soil okay so second function of root is root take root take water and minerals water and minerals from the soil water and minerals from the soil Okay, so root take this water and minerals from the soil. That water is carried by the stem to all part of the plant. So, which part is taking or absorbing water from the soil? Yes, root because root are under the soil. Okay, so it absorb or take the water from the soil. And that water is carried by stem to all part of the plant. Okay, so the root take water and minerals from the soil okay so that is the next function of root root take water and minerals from the soil okay then we know in some cases in some plants the root store food for the plant in some plants the root store food for the plant can you say any examples for such plant yes radish carrot and sweet potato Carrot, radish and sweet potato, we are eating the root. Okay, so that also we can say one function. Okay, in some plants, root store food for the plant. Root store food. Root store food for the plant. Food for the plant. Okay, in some plants, root store food for the plant. So, now we studied three functions of root. Okay. So, the root store food for the plant. Can we say examples for this? Yes. The examples of such plants are. Such plants are. Carrot. Carrot plant. 
we eat the root carrot okay then radish radish and one more sweet potato sweet potato potato is the stem of the plant but sweet potato is uh, root we are eating okay so carrot radish and sweet potato we are eating the root of the plant so these are the main functions of the stem so see children i have two plants with me see two plants are there with me this plant have roots this plant have roots but you uh, look at this plant children this plant do not have root so uh, we can find the difference between these two plant this plant have root and this plant do not have root how these plants are different children yes when we uh, cut the root of the plant what happened to the plant yes this plant will die the plant will die because the plant cannot take water and minerals from the soil and you see look at this plant yes this plant look fresh why it is look fresh children yes this plants have roots that is why it look like fresh but you can see this plant do not have root i cut the root of this plant then uh, when we observe this plant we can find that this plant died this plant is uh, this plant will die because it do not have roots so it cannot take water and minerals from the soil it cannot fix the plant to the soil if it is fixed on the plant to the soil then only it can take the water and minerals from the soil right okay so uh, that are the difference between the plant have roots and the plants do not have roots if the plants do not have root then the plant will die because it cannot take water and minerals from the soil if the plants have root then it will grow it look like fresh because it can take water and minerals from the soil okay so these are the two differences we can find these are the difference we can find when the plants have root and the plants do not have root okay the without root the plant cannot live plant cannot grow okay so uh, next week what you have to do you have to take your workbook page number 21 everybody take page number 21 workbook write the date at first the third lesson is about roots three third s3 is roots okay so what we have to do children we have to complete the table here we can see one table that we have to complete how can we complete it children yes we have to read the question first what will happen if the roots of a plant are removed so now only i uh, showed the uh, plant yes the plant its root is removed okay then here the plant have roots okay the plant have roots the experiment is given here plant a, a no roots plant a no roots plant b with roots so what are the changes will come that we have to write in these two columns okay so first we can write the plant plant a no roots the plant a no roots so what we have to write here children our prediction we have to write what will happen to the plant yes if the plant do not have roots then what will happen to the plant yes the plant will die the plant will die okay then second column observation when we observed this plant many days when we observed it what we could find yes we can find that the plant died the plant died what happened to the plant the plant died okay so here you have to write the plant will die and when what happened to the plant the plant died okay so this two column completed next here plant b with the roots plant b with the roots then what happened to the plant yes what will happen to the plant what will be our prediction yes the plant looks fresh the plant looks fresh so you can write here the plant looks fresh okay then here also when we observe this plant we can find that yes this plant looks fresh so uh, this uh, uh, two column we have to write the plants looks fresh okay but in the another column what we have to write the plant with no root the plant will die you can see the condition of this plant leaves everything's dry up 
is it it children so it cannot grow the plant will die okay second question uh, here one more question is there conclusion from this experiment what we can conclude children yes i can conclude that yes without root there were no roots the plant will not get water and it will die isn't it if there is no root then the plant will not get water and it will die this is the way we can conclude it okay then the second question is why do roots grow downwards into the soil why it is growing downwards into the soil yes it is because of this roots grow downwards into the soil in search of water okay so how we will write the answer in search of water the roots grow downwards into the soil okay so that is the answer of second question third one what is the difference in function between hanging roots of a banyan tree and roots of a rose plant so we know children the banyan tree's root is hanging root isn't it it is hanging it is hanging root only banyan tree's root but in the case of rose plant it have the root like this right like this root only it has that from this what we can understand how we can find out the difference between the hanging root of banyan tree and the roots of a rose plant how it help the plant yes the roots of banyan tree give support to the stem okay it is hanging uh, it is hanging root so it gives support to the stem okay and in the case of rose plant the root of the rose plant fix the plant to the soil okay this is the way you have to write the answer so how can we write the answer the root of banyan tree give support to the stem and the root of rose plant fix the plant to the soil okay so from this we can understand two different function in the case of banyan tree the root give support to the stem but in the case of rose plant root fix the plant to the soil okay so we understood two differences now we have to do one practice question okay so everybody need to take your textbook we have to do one practice question one to four already completed now it is fifth question what is the functions of roots so we already discussed the function of roots here okay so what are the functions of root root fix the plant to the soil root fix the plant to the soil then root take water and minerals from the soil root take water and minerals from the soil and root store in some plants root store food for the plant okay so you can write any two functions of root okay so this much only enough for today's class so today we only discussed the functions of roots so i hope everybody understood the class so we will meet in the next class okay bye